Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my humble abode in Italy. Um, I'm currently in Florence with a friend of mine exploring and it's really fun and I just learned my period. So <laughs> technically according to my period calendar, it wasn't due until Tuesday the 16th of April. It's currently, well it was Saturday, the, I don't know, my brain's complete brain fog at the moment. Um, but it's now Sunday, so it came like two-ish days early. But actually, it's really just one day early, because it would have been a 28-day cycle if I'd got it on Monday, but it's come on uh, the 28th day, so it's now a 27-day cycle. Great. I'm actually kind of glad it has now started, because um, I, ha I was getting some cramps earlier on today, and I was thinking, God, like we're traveling home on Monday, um, I just thought, you know, if I had to deal with my period day one on the way home and like, like we're in Florence right now, but we're actually flying out of Pisa so we've got to pack up on Monday, get the train from here in Florence to Pisa again, hang around for a large part of the day before going to the airport and getting a flight home and I was like, that is going to be hell. It could still be hell actually um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to see how this first day plans out. But I'm kind of glad at least I've got a day beforehand to get to grips with it before I have to um, work out how I'm getting home and surviving. But yeah, we'll see. It's currently 12.45 a.m. on Sunday morning. Um, and I am well prepared, my friends. Um, because I knew this was a chance I would get it on holiday, I did bring with me some omeprazole that I take before I take any ibuprofen to kind of protect my stomach got my good old Nurofen and I've also got some Cuprofen which is like a stronger version of Nurofen um, which this is 400 milligrams of ibuprofen per tablet this is 200 so you only need to take one of these basically um, I'm actually all right right now I've literally just started I went to the bathroom and wiped and there was some blood there and I was like crap okay it's actually starting now so I've just put on a pad I've got a few pads but not a lot so I'm going to have to be good with them and probably wash them out. And unfortunately, like, the temperature here in Italy, it's nice, but it's, it's a bit chilly outside, so it's not like, really hot or anything. So it's not like they're going to dry super quick in the sun. Um, but I do have a hairdryer with me, so if needs must, I can always blow dry them dry. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we cope. But anyway, um, so far feeling good, although I am going to take some. I've been taking my meds religiously this holiday. I haven't missed a day. I kept forgetting to take them with dinner but I remembered later on so I did take them then so I have taken them religiously the new supplement that I've tried this month is something called bromelain um, because I saw it was recommended <coughs> excuse me on an adenomyosis awareness website they said it could help so I thought well that's what I've got so I'll give it a shot I've been taking that for two weeks now so we'll see if that makes any difference who knows uh, but hope but you know Bromelain basically comes from pineapples and they can make periods worse and they can make periods better so fingers crossed it's the better in my case. Um, yes, so I'm probably going to go to bed soon. I don't know if you can hear as well, I'm actually quite sick at the moment. Um, I've had a nasty, like a cold brewing for the whole holiday. When we first left, um, the night before we went away, my throat started hurting. So I had a sore throat for like the first three days three or four days and then it kind of morphed into a cough and then this morning I woke up like heady, nose blocked, full on like chesty cough um, and now yeah, <laughs> not feeling so great so that's also been quite fun to deal with but overall I've had a great time so far in Florence and we've been doing some fantastic things so I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to deal with this tomorrow um, and if not I guess what I'll have to do is maybe book a hotel room somewhere in Pisa, find a cheap hotel room and I'll just go and lay there um, on Monday, well technically tomorrow now, um, when we get to Pisa and see how we do that, but yeah, at least my friends here to help me out, so I will see you guys properly in the morning. Morning! Actually, technically it's afternoon now, it's like 12 something I think, coming up to 1 o'clock. Um, I have been chilling out for the morning, I slept okay last night, like I didn't wake up in the middle of the night, it took me a little while to get to sleep because I was a bit kind of shaky from now as of all, is it going to be okay or not? Um, mostly because I have not been plant based while I've been here in Italy, I've been eating all the stuff I like, although I did deliberately last night, um, when I thought my period was coming, have a vegan pizza because I was like, I need to be better right now. Um, but yeah, so far it's been fine, I've only got, this is what I brought with me because I was 
kind of prepared. I bought all my drugs and everything that I might need for pain meds. Um, but I've only got, I've got one big pad currently on. I've got three pads here and one pair of period underwear, which is fine. Um, because I can hand wash them and I'm going to change my pad now but because we're not leaving till late tomorrow evening at like literally I don't think I, we land in the UK until 9 in the evening our flight's at like 7 something so I've got basically 2 days to last off of these pads um, unfortunately my periods aren't heavy which is good um, and as I said earlier I can always I think I said earlier I can always hair dry the pads if I really need to if I'm getting that low um, we've got like radiators and stuff here that we can leave them on but, yeah, I'm just currently, I've just washed out a saucepan in the kitchen. I'm going to have some chicken noodle soup, I think. Because um, I bought these, like, packets of noodles and stuff just in case, A, we got hungry and we had nothing in the house, which actually hasn't been an issue so far. Um, or B, I've got my period and I just need something really easy to cook, which is more the case. So I'm going to go change my pad, put one of these bad boys on, probably this one, and wash out this other one by hand and then do some cooking. Also, the place that we're staying in Italy is like super cute. There's shutters on the windows out there. The bedrooms are downstairs. You can see the mess that is my bedroom currently. And then I won't show you too much of my friend's room. She's not here. She's just gone out, but that was her room. And you go up the stairs. It's a little Airbnb that we chose. And this one is way better than the one we had in Pisa because we, we went to Pisa first and then we came here. But the upstairs of this place is so, it's really dirty, I'm sorry. But it's so nice. Like there's the kitchen area little bit there and then there's the sitting room which is also messy and then there's the front door so it's a lovely little area we struck gold with this it's a little way out of the set of central Florence but it's actually quite nice here um, so yeah we've, we've done pretty good uh, she just popped off to get some key rings I said I'd stay back so I'm not not feeling I'm feeling okay actually right now I said I've been, re I've been really good for my meds this month this um, holiday I've just been like right I'm taking it, I'm not risking it while I'm out here. Got to get home tomorrow somehow. Um, so I've just taken the meds and that's been fine. It's kept under control. But I've got 30 minutes before I can take any more. Um, and I seem to be okay right now, which is good. So the bleeding only has really just got started. When I first woke up this morning, my pad wasn't even like bloody. It was just when I wiped still. But now I can feel it has definitely <laughs> gone onto my pad. So we'll see if the heaviness has really started yet. And uh, we'll also see if the bromelain has helped. So I figured, whilst I'm currently away on holiday and have this issue with like needing to wash my pads, I'm usually really good with planning my holidays so I don't have my period there. But this time, um, yeah, we booked it a while ago and it was impossible to predict and I tried to move it and it failed. Um, so don't try that. Um, I've done it before and it worked, but this time I didn't think about it properly. Anyway, uh, so I have this pad that I've just taken off that I need to wash. As you can see, if you're squirmish about blood, as always, please don't wash my videos. Um, there's not a lot of blood on this pad, but I do need to wash this just in case I need an extra pad tomorrow or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to rinse it. I don't have a tripod or anything, so this will be interesting. But I'm just going to rinse it out, and I'm not worried about getting the stains out or anything. It's literally just the blood, because this will be washed again at the end of my cycle. Um, but all I want to do is, and my blood doesn't stain very easily, so I don't worry about getting the stains set. Um, I just want to get the blood out of it and put it on this nice hot uh, radiator here so it can have a chance to dry off. Uh, so if I need it, then I have an extra pad later on. So you're literally balancing on a tub of shower gel, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm going to do here. First of all, I'm going to roll my sleeves up so we don't get that wet, because that would not be fun. Next, I'm just going to take some cool water. Can you see it? Yeah, here. And I'm just literally going to rinse this pad out. So over the blood. And then when you squeeze, you should see. Oh no, it's not quite wet enough yet. I'm not squeamish about blood. I'm fully willing to get my fingers in there. I mean, this pad really wasn't that bloody, so it's probably going to be quite easy. And that's all, all I need to, oh no, that was still quite bloody. Let's do some more. So basically you want to keep squeezing it until that's no longer wet. As I said, because I'm going to be washing this thing when I get home, I'm not too worried about if it's still a little bit red. My main concern is just getting the majority of it out. And because it wasn't that heavy to begin with, um, the, the blood's just kind of running out. And as you can see, you can barely even tell where that blood was. It's, it hasn't really stained. This has already got like a red print here, so it's kind of 
it's kind of obscured anyway. But this is probably going to be good enough, so I'm just going to put this onto the radiator and let it dry. So even though I am kind of pissed that my period came whilst away on holiday, I am glad that if it did have to come, it came right now. Because as I said before, as long as it comes a day before I have to travel, then that usually means the worst of it is out of the way. Um, uh, it was supposed to come on Tuesday, which would have been perfect, but you know, Mother Nature. Never going to be convenient. Uh, but we did, we have pretty much done everything we wanted to do on this holiday. The only thing we haven't got done, sorry, excuse me, is been to see the Pontevergio, but we've been pretty much everywhere else. We've been up, we went to Pisa, we went up the Tower of Pisa. We were there for a day, we've got to go back there tomorrow, as I said earlier as well. Um, we've been to see the Santa Maria Novella, the cathedral, we went inside, whole cafe with the tickets. Oh my god, don't scan the QR codes. If you come, by the way, it takes like 24 hours for the tickets to come through. We made that mistake and got really pissed off with it. Um, also, the museums here aren't free, so you have to pay to go everywhere, so that sucked because they're all free in, the, in London, so it's like, oh, which one do I want to go to? You can just go into them. That was something we didn't expect. Um, but we have been, like, pretty much open around Florence. We've been at the bell, up the bell tower in, in the Santa Maria Novella area. Um, did all of that. Had a nice fit. I'm pretty sure we've done more than this. Oh, we went to the Pizzale Michelangelo where it has like a really beautiful view. And um, went on a day trip as well to Tuscany, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the trip. It was a really long day and actually I could have probably done with it being a half day. But we went to this place called San Giomano, Giomano, I think. And it was gorgeous. I took some footage as well, which I'll put in here, of the Tuscan like hillside, which that was definitely one of my favourite parts because I'm a country girl at heart. I love being in the countryside. I went to school in the countryside. I grew up in like the suburban areas. Um, I don't. I'm not really a big fan of the cities, although Florence is nice to see. I much rather like the pretty views and the countryside and stuff. So that was one of my favourite parts of the trip. So yeah, it's been a great trip though, but we got everything done as I said. So this could have been much worse. It could have come like a few days earlier and then ruined those whole plans. So. It's, and I kind of had, we planned for Sunday to be a relaxing day anyway, so we didn't have anything planned today, thank God. Uh, yeah, I like to have a book when I go on holiday. My book for this holiday so far has been Creative Schools by Ken Robinson. Um, I love Ken Robinson. He's, his idea of what education should be is very much in line with what I feel it should be, so it's really interesting reading this. Also, it's also interesting having this book because my friend Megan, who's here with me at the moment, is also a teacher. She's a primary school teacher. So we obviously have differing views on some things, but it's quite interesting to have these debates about. So I'm about halfway through um, at the moment, but we haven't had a lot of chance to read during this holiday, but it's been fun so far. Anyway, I did just have to take some more meds. Oh, you know also when you're away and you're in like an Airbnb place or something and it's like the last day or two and you're starting to run out of things, but you're like, we're only here for another day, so we just have to survive without this. We're starting to run out of to with toilet paper. We've literally got like this much left, but the place that we we're in did have some napkins, like some really nice soft napkins. So I've literally just folded up like six for each toilet. There's another toilet downstairs, one in Megan's room. So we've just folded up like six wads of these napkins and we've got a last just under 24 hours now with these napkins on the last of the toilet roll. Um, which if I didn't have my period, I would say would be very easy, but because I have got my period, might be tough, but we'll we'll have to manage. So that's one thing we're low on. I think everything else we're okay with, to be honest. We've still got food. We can always go out and get more. But um, yeah, that was a bit funny. I thought, you know, we could easily go and buy more toilet roll and just leave it for the next people, but we're too stingy for that. It is coming up to, I can't even read the clock from here, I think like five to seven. Okay, um, ten to eight. Ten to eight? Is that clock out? Or can I just not see because the reflection? No, mate, ten to eight. Ten to eight, apparently. Um, we're just doing our passport stuff, um, putting it up for checking in online for our flight tomorrow. Um, we've realised that we've got to leave here at ten, and our train from Florence to Pisa isn't until like twelve thirty, so we're gonna have to kill time between there. And then our flight's not till like seven in the evening, so we have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. But I have established so far that on my period. Knock on wood, has been fine so far out here, so it should be fine tomorrow. Just had one like painful wave early, which is normal for me, um, but very dealable with, so that's a good sign. Hopefully that continues. Uh, but it will mean that it makes tomorrow a lot easier. And yeah, I just got a pack tonight. Hmm. We have asked the guy if we can stay another hour, because that would really help, but even if we can't, I think we'll figure something out. Um, it's currently raining, pouring outside, so period chose the right day to come if it had to come, as I said before. <laughs> I think it's sit down party. <laughs> 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 
We were, talking, we were talking earlier about how 22 feels like a much more serious yeah, age. Music. 21, it's like, okay, you can still mess stuff up, but 22, it's like, you're an adult. You should you should have your stuff together by then. I think I'm all right, but still, this it's pretty good. Well, this is so depressing. You can't party to this. <laughs> okay, so <sorry. laughs> Very good. I can't stand up because the blood will just pour out of me. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm a period vlog. They're used to it by now. <laughs> She's still adjusting to me talking openly about my period on here. <laughs> Good morning. We are currently just packing up, ready to go. Suitcases, pretty much done, to be honest. Um, we're supposed to check out at 10, which is like now, but we messaged the guy and he said we could leave our bags here till 11, but didn't say specifically us, so we figured we'd just get ready and then if we have to go at 11, we'll go at 10, we'll go and leave the bags here till 11, but otherwise, we're gonna just try and stay here as long as we can. Um, I've washed the pads by hand because I realise I'm really low, but my period today is actually pretty good and I think I might even be able to put a menstrual cup in, which would be really great because it would make my life a lot easier <laughs> throughout the day if I can do that. Um, but yeah, like I only took one ibuprofen this morning, which is insane. It's usually like dire. So things are good on that score. I, I think I will actually go and put my cup in. Um, and see how we do and the problem is just if it starts cramping I have to take it out and mm, it could be a bit funny. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to risk it because I'm good so far and it will just make my life so much easier if I can do it now. We've made it back to Pisa now and we're just sitting outside the statue after having had some lunch. We've got a bit of time to kill now, we did have to leave the apartment around like 10 in the end. Um, but we've got some time to kill because whilst we got back here about like 1.30 or so, we don't have to get to the airport till 5. So what time is it now? Um, 3 something. 3 something. So we've got another couple of hours to kill so we're just going to sit and read our books on the step and kill some time. Hopefully the sun will come out in a second. still can't hear properly so I'm not if I'm shouting right now my ears are still really blocked um it's half past 10 now in UK time so we got back Megan's gone off home to her place and um, I'm just in the process of slowly unpacking but when I got back here there were a ton of packages um, one of which was this oh god this little machine that's now plugged in which is this for the spots I've seen it everywhere and as I never spend money on like makeup or stuff I figured I'd splurge and treat myself to this see if this thing even works um, but there was also a package from Nixit which is another menstrual disc type of menstrual cup um, so I figured why not sort of unbox it right now give you a little bit of first impressions oh there we go and yeah I'm sorry I didn't really vlog anything else today like the trip and stuff it just it was a bit busy and we were tired and I was just like, you know, I want to get home at this point. We had a lot of time to kill between when we left the apartment in Florence and when we had to take off in Pisa because we we had to be out by 10 in Florence and then our flight in Pisa wasn't until like 7.45 in the evening. So there was quite a significant amount of time to kill and we just basically sat around and read our books uh, and had lunch and that was that in Pisa. So we're just busy figuring stuff out. Anyway, here we go. So it opens up like this. It's a one size cup by the way, so I'm a bit concerned about that because some of these discs have been a bit big for me in the, bit big for me in the past. <coughs> Excuse me, still got a cough. Ooh! So, this is the disc and here is its bag, it's a nice little cotton bag. Um, yeah, so the first thing I've noticed is that compared to other menstrual discs I've seen, this is definitely a lot deeper. Like, it's a good first knuckle worth depth in there um but you the way that these discs work is that you fold them you kind of insert them and then you tuck it up behind your cervix and then you sort of tuck that up as well so they don't sit that way in your vagina like a menstrual cup would they sit sideways um and then they just kind of hold the blood here so actually let me go get my lily cup so this is the ziggy cup let's put them in a little bit of a comparison shall we 
The intermina one is a little is different. It's kind of got a bit of a dip in it, but when they're squished, they're pretty much identical long ways. It's kind of hard to show actually when we put the tips together. So tips squeezed together through the body. Pretty much identical. So I'm a little worried because I find this one is a bit too big for me and this looks about the same size. I really do wish that there would be a disc cup that came in like a smaller size because, I don't know, we'll see. But um, yeah, it will be interesting to see if I can get this one to the next cup to work. So stay tuned for that. It is now 2 p.m. the next day and I am being lazy. Um, I haven't got around to doing anything today, literally. Last night, I think after I spoke to you, I put in the Nixit cup, went to bed, fell asleep at like midnight because I was exhausted. Woke up two hours later with quite a lot of pain in my stomach and I realized what the cup had done is it had like, because it was a bit big, I think. I'll, I'll try it again another time, but I think it's a bit big. It was pushing against like my bowel. So when you're on your period, you get like, really gassy and that's just normal um, and that gas was getting trapped it couldn't get out and like I took the cup out and oh my goodness like the relief was almost instantaneous and I was like oh that was what was causing all this pain then so that was a bit of a fail but I just put some period underwear on went back to bed woke up at nine and yeah just been reading I don't know I, my brain is still really fried my ears I still can't hear properly I'm still a bit blocked um so I don't know if I said anything yesterday but we when we landed we heard about the Notre Dame fire and so today I've been like watching everything it's just absolutely crazy because particularly because the last few days in Florence uh, me and my friend we've been, when we were in Florence and Pisa we've actually been to quite a few cathedrals and churches so we've been like seeing that sort of stuff very recently so for Notre Dame to burn like burn down well fortunately they managed to stop most of it but um for that to happen was just like whoa you know and when we first got on the plane you could hear people talking about it like oh my god Notre Dame's Notre Dame's on fire it was crazy so um and we flew over Paris we did have a look and we thought we could see some flames but we were a bit out of the way and it was quite dark so we weren't entirely sure a bit cloudy too but you know it was just one of those absolutely crazy things so um yeah my uh, sympathies go out to any of you who are living in who are French or actually you know anyone I think Notre Dame's a, a thing that connects a lot of people around the world regardless of what religion you are or, or denomination of Christianity it's just one of those things so yeah moving on to more positive things though my mum is currently on her way over to see me briefly and then at some point I need to go shopping when she leaves probably because I have no food in the house whatsoever I had some bread I just had some cereal for breakfast fortunately vegan milk stays like cashew milk lasts for weeks so I didn't have to worry about that before going away on holiday benefit of being non-dairy with the milk here um, but I need to go and stock up on some fresh fruit and veg and bread all that sort of stuff so yeah I also need to tidy up because I still haven't fully unpacked my bag and I need to put the wash there's just so much to do after a holiday I've just got to get it all done so I finally finished unpacking my mum came over spent an hour with her which was really nice I'm gonna have dinner with them tomorrow as well because um, my mum's out tonight so that wasn't gonna work in the end but finished unpacking now I need to go to the food shop because as I said before there's nothing in my house to eat as you can possibly hear in the background, I'm currently running myself a bath and I'm going to go and read my book as well on my Kindle in there. I might treat myself to a new one actually or just read one of the old ones that I really like or read recently. I'm one of those people that can just reread books over and over again, particularly if I really like them. The series Vampire Academy, I really love that book series. I think I read it. I'm, I'm not kidding. I think I read it like from book one to book six and the extra series from the beginning to the end three times um I just I don't know I love getting into a story and imagining like what happens next to the characters and everything I'm just very creative like that and it's it's always been my way so yeah I, I love reading although I never used to because when I was a kid I was dyslexic and I couldn't read before the when I was eight I still couldn't read but then I caught up really quickly in my teen years um and it just and then my dyslexia just affected my uh, spelling and my writing but other than that it was okay so I was quite lucky in that respect but yeah I did only recently get into reading like when I was like 50 <coughs> recent is probably not the right word but recently in terms of my life um, when I was 15 that's when I really got into reading for the first time and since then I've been a bookworm so yeah gonna go and chill gonna go and wash for some reason like I just smell so I don't know if you guys get this but I'm like really feel smelly today just I don't know what it is I think I'm still like suffering from this cold as you can hear so I think that might be why I'm just sweating it out uh, but yeah that's one thing I definitely noticed today so Gonna go chill in the bath. 
morning it is day four now and i think i'm going to end the vlog here actually every time i do these period vlogs i always feel like i've been crap at filming and i feel particularly like i've been crap at filming during this one but then sometimes when i get to the editing i'm like oh i've actually got more stuff than i thought i did because i seem to forget so um i hope you really enjoyed this period vlog guys this period has been really manageable i'm super stoked so fingers crossed it stays like this again i did actually buy some pineapple yesterday but i didn't get a chance to eat it then um so next period i think i'm gonna try that from the beginning and see if that makes any difference because I think the bromelain tablets that I were taking um, really help with this period. I stopped the fen um, the fennel because that didn't seem to help over the last three periods I took it so that's why I switched to the bromelain and that seemed to be much more effective so I don't know if it was that or just stopping the fennel but we'll see in the next couple of months but yeah back to kind of its manageable level that I got it to before I had that little hiccup last month um, and a few months back when I forgot to take my tablets so this is really promising. Um, yeah, this period was pretty much non-problematic, which is so exciting because I've been so kind of concerned when I had these months where they get worse, that like the adenomyosis is getting worse or whatever, and it is April, so it's Adenomyosis Awareness Month, and I'm going to do a video, I think next week, um, talking a bit more in detail about adenomyosis. So if you head on over to my Instagram, my Facebook page, if you've got any questions, there's a post on there where I'm asking you guys to let me know anything you'd like me to answer about adenomyosis, and I'm going to try and do that in next week's video. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, you can get cloth pads and menstrual cups, the things that I've been using throughout this period, on my website, Precious Stars. Link is down below, as always. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Happy periods. <laughs> <laughs>